Kyle, we get it all the time from families. You know, when do I have to apply for college as a student athlete? Is it different than the normal admissions process? Um, can you talk a little bit more about that process for a student athlete? Because uh, it does differ maybe a little bit from just a normal student, but really not that much. Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth noting that um, it, it's a huge misconception out there for a lot of families that um, going to school, going to play your sport in college is very similar to high school where you apply to the school and then try to get recruited or you apply to the school and you go to the, the university or college and try out for the team and try and join the team in that process. Um, recruiting happens much earlier. Recruiting typically starts freshman year, eighth grade and continues throughout the entire high school process until most student athletes are finishing up, committing, signing their letter of intent in the fall of their senior year. Uh, football, for example, the early signing period starts tomorrow. Uh, but as a generality, when we're talking about just applying for college, again, that's going to be separate from recruiting, fall of senior year is going to be when most admissions experts say that the generally uh, student athletes should begin the application process, um, as this is going to be the time to give them enough to enough time to figure out which schools accept them, which decline them, which schools are going to be um, ones they can actually get into in the first place. We can kind of break it down into different types of applications. There's early action, early decision, regular decision, rolling admission. They're, they're all a little bit different. The biggest difference is worth really thinking about noticing our early decision applications, which are due around November 1st, senior year. Uh, regular decision applications aren't due until January 1st. Uh, the biggest difference is early action versus early decision. Early decision, if you decide to apply in that manner, means that if you get into the school, you must mm -hmm. attend that school if you're accepted. So you can only early decision apply to one school, whereas early action application, it's not binding, uh, but you can offer, can offer the applicant ease of mind knowing that they've been accepted earlier into that school. So early decision, you have to go to that school, early action, you don't have to go to that school, but you can be accepted early and kind of you know, use the rest of your senior year just to enjoy it. So those things keep in mind. Again, recruiting is going to be a little bit different than that process, though. Yeah, and again, make sure if you're, you're talking to a school, um, communicate with that admissions office, know those dates. Yeah, you don't want to be the person that's missing that date. Um, sometimes, uh, again, student athletes um, with that early decision process can you kind of take some stress off them. If, you know, if you're committed as a junior and you know that's where you're going to go to school, you can knock out that process early. You've done the ACT, you've done the SAT, you've gotten your core courses done. Um, that process can, can help us uh, certainly speed things up a little bit as well. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, and I know you did, click our logo so you can subscribe to our channel and check out the other videos on our page for all things recruiting.